everybody. We've got something unusual happening in here. We've got a young male leopard, and it seems like he has managed to separate two mating monitor lizards or legavans. They're the largest lizard species that we we get here. And what's happened, I think, is that this leopard's been a bit confounded with which one to choose. The larger one, in my opinion, he's left alone and he's going for a smaller one. And monitor lizards Hello and welcome to this. It's a young leopard live from Juma Private Game Reserve here in the Sabi Sands. We have got a leopard hunting some monitor lizards with us just off here. My name is Stefan Winterboer and this is a leopard that we've been following from pretty much since they were born. And we can't wait to see what he wants to do. Just finished hunting now. Just amazing. The monitor lizards are all over the place. There we go. There's the monitor lizard. Large lizard, several feet long. This particular one is probably in the region of about six or seven foot long. This leopard looks like it's lost some interest now though, which is unusual. Usually they wouldn't hesitate to kill monitor lizards like this. Forms, they form a very large portion of uh, very large portion of their diet. It looks like he's busy stalking something else. Could there be a third monitor lizard here? Quite possible actually and the reason for that is that a female monitor lizard that is being attended by a couple of males will elicit the attentions of a few males and that will be enticing for this young leopard. The fact that this leopard has been Unable to make the kill, I think, is just literally because there's too much going on here with regards to these young. These, it's going to make a pounce. Come on! It looks like this leopard's going to pounce. There we go. Come on, jump! You can see that that's setting up it's very similar to other cats that you've seen. There's something in that bush. Don't worry about the noise of crashing around us. It's not elephants, just another vehicle. Um, right now, we are... It's, it's, we're coming to you live from the Kruger National Park, which is in South Africa, the western side of South Africa. We're about in the center of the Kruger National Park on its, on its western border. And we've got a young male leopard here, probably between 16 or 18 months old, and independent already hunting what I think is a trio of monitor lizards. I think the reason why this leopard is hunting these monitor lizards is because there's a female, a female monitor lizard in, and who is needing her eggs fertilized and there's a couple of males that are responding to the pheromones that she's letting out. Just have a look at how camouflaged these animals are. Isn't it just amazing? There's the monitor lizard, there's one there. largest lizard that we find out here. I don't know what... Now, in the comment section of what you're watching right now, there is the ability to ask us questions. We are live and interactive at the moment, so feel free to ask me a question and we'll answer as many as what we can. Or even just leave a comment about what you're seeing. This is the first live leopard hunt that you've ever watched in your life. Now that very intent gaze. Let's see if I can get us into a slightly... Zara, you're saying that lizard looks so scary. I must agree with you there, Zara. Excuse my bald head, that's also a bit scary. But let's go forward a little bit, give us a bit of a better view of the leopard, but also of this monitor lizard. I don't quite know what to prompt us to look at at the moment. It's a lot of action going on. We've got, that's a white-throated monitor. Still very upset with the fact that it's being hunted. You can see that the throat is all puffed up, but trying to make some distance. You can see they're blowing his throat up. I think he's had his ego a bit dented by this leopard. He's lucky not to have become dinner. It's about a six foot lizard, that. 
maybe a bit shorter than that. Let's go back to that leopard quickly and see what's going on. There's just such an... In Betty, you'd like to know if the leopard would eat the eggs or the lizard. That's a good question, Betty. I, you know, knowing leopard have, have quite a v varied diet, I think that the leopard would eat everything. Uh, if it could have killed this, uh, could have killed this lizard, it would have, and it would have eaten its eggs. Now the eggs are still there. We go. There we go. Ooh. That was a rabbit, a young rabbit. Oh, that leopard. Did you see that? I'm hoping that we got all that. Awesome. I don't think that that leopard caught that young. It's a there's a scrub here. I don't think that that leopard caught it because we would have heard um, a giant squealing if it did. But wasn't that amazing? See the live leopard, well, live leopard hunt, I suppose. Uh, there we have. Now that leopard has run away into some thick, monstrously thick bush. Uh, let's hope we can get one more view of this young leopard. I don't think so. It's going to be a very difficult thing to get inside there. Let's see if we can change our view a little bit. Let's see if we can pick out what that young leopard was looking at. I can't see where this leopard has disappeared into this bush. It's probably just massaging a broken ego at the moment, to be quite honest with you. I think it is gone. All right. Well, that was that, I think, for this particular leopard hunt. We will catch you again on another one of these live and broadcasts. See you all soon.